Long before the civil rights era and the Harlem Renaissance, African civilizations made great strides in academia and the arts. Sharon Lawson introduces us to a well-known drummer who has found a way to carry these links of the past through music. Willie Stewart's mission to show South Florida how African rhythms are infused in our lives. Teaching the Cuban clave to Brazilian samba, he infuses performances with his infectious energy. Rhythm, rhythms of Africa, it came about is that rhythms is rhythm, a rhythm is inside everybody. And this rhythm that came from everybody, like in Jamaica. The dance, oop, oop, in uh, uh, reggaeton, deck, deck, I said the deck, deck, I said the deck, deck. Everybody does, the, the, the frequency of the drum, the high shakes the upper, the mid drums move the body, and the bass move that bottom, so you have to move. <laughs> Stewart focuses on the common threads found in the music of the Americas, brought across the Atlantic by enslaved Africans. The brass bands of New Orleans and the griots of Ghana have one thing in common, drums and inherently rhythms. For almost 30 years, he played with the popular reggae band Third World. Well known in music circles, they opened for the legendary Bob Marley and penned chart-topping hits with Stevie Wonder. He introduced the many drums that he has come across in his travels, including the Dumbe from North Africa. He has incorporated his passion for playing into his ever-growing repertoire. It's always in me. I play, it's like God gave me this gift and I just play, it just, just comes out. I, I don't have to think. These days, he's left the road behind, and he's excited about inspiring youngsters to play. And I wanted to work with children. This passion, burning sensation, I needed to give this to, to children and share with everybody. In Fort Lauderdale, Sharon Lawson, South Florida Nightly News.